Hey, what's up everyone? This is Super Rep Floyd CLE. How's everyone doing on YouTube? In this vlog, I'm going to be talking about F-Zero GP Legend. Not the uh, video game version, which most of you are aware of, since you already know what it's about. I'm talking about the cartoon version of F-Zero GP Legend. Now, most of you know that it came out as an anime at first in Japan, because that's where it originated. It was called F-Zero Falcon no Densetsu, or F-Zero The Legend of Falcon, translated. Now, this cartoon slash anime was tied on both F-Zero GP Legend and the sequel of F-Zero GP Legend known as F-Zero Climax, the Japanese version. And uh, they also came out with a cartoon for Fox Box and uh, Four Kids and whatnot. But um, I'm going to tell you guys how I became <clears throat> at first unaware and enthusiastic about the uh, cartoon. The first episode was great, where the part where Rick Willer, the uh, new recruit for the uh, mobile task force led by Captain Jody Summer and uh, I wasn't aware of those parts when I first saw the cartoon I only saw the part where uh, Roger Buster who drives the mighty hurricane and Drek who drives the mighty typhoon and this little kid named Alias who was in the hospital and Rick Willow sworn to uh, win the Grand Prix race a dangerous Grand Prix race where they had uh, Pico launching those mines on those machines. If they slow down or go any faster, they'll explode. But, uh, uh part of the noise in the background, that's just a helicopter. But anyway, back to the story of how I became enthusiastic and unaware about F Zero. I had no idea they had the cartoon going out streaming live for a Fox Box. Uh, that was back years ago when I saw Kirby's Right Back At You. And it was pretty crazy that they had the cartoon of F Zero, which is pretty cool. But the thing is about it, years later, they were canceled because they were low on profit somehow. Or whatever the case may be, but they only did like 15 episodes in English, both dub and uh, sub. But not sub, but just English dub, which was pretty cool. They sound pretty cool. They make a nice dub group for the uh, cartoon. Now, I've seen all the episodes for the anime version, and. I even seen the Falcon Punch, but um, let me ask you guys this: If you guys think that F Zero GP Legend should come back to the uh, network, the TV network, comment below and tell me what you think, what's your opinion about this type of show that should be back online, on the show and on YouTube. Because trust me, I had a hard time catching up on all the 51 episodes that I saw, the anime version, and uh, yeah, it would be a real thrill if. They even have the DVDs and Blu-rays, etc. But anyway, that's pretty much how, what I think about F Zero GP Legend. And the part where Captain Falcon was speaking, it was pretty cool. And how he annihilated Black Shadow with his Falcon Punch on the last episode. Well, it was pretty, it was pretty depressing that he sacrificed himself to destroy the organization called Dark Million. That's where Zoda worked in. Both Zoda and Rick Willard were in Frozen Sleep. I know most of you guys are aware of it. And, um, yeah, F-Zero GP Legend is a pretty great cartoon for each and every one of us who loves F-Zero, even though I play it the majority of times. But anyway, that's all I want to share with you guys on this vlog about how I became enthusiastic and unaware about the cartoon version of F-Zero. And, um, yeah, keep playing F-Zero. And, uh, again, if you guys think that F-Zero GP Legend should come back to the TV network like on Foxbox or, um, 4Kids or whatever, Comment below the section book right there and tell me what you guys think. But anyway, that's all I'm going to share with you guys in this vlog. I hope you guys enjoy watching. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, favorite, and share. This is Super Red Floyd CLE. See you guys on the next video.